Hi guys, and welcome back to Mama Jess Knits. I'm Jess. Today is December the 3rd, which I cannot believe it's already December, but it is. Um, we celebrated my son's birthday, which actually isn't until Thursday, but he wanted to go out to dinner tonight, so we decided to go ahead and celebrate his birthday. He's turning nine, which I cannot believe, but anyway... Um, it is late again at night. He's already passed out asleep. <laughs> um, welcome back. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving and a great week. Um, we did. We enjoyed our Thanksgiving and enjoyed some Black Friday shopping and um, started back to school on Monday after five days off. So that was a little not so fun and we were all exhausted. Anyway, some admin stuff. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Mama Just Knits, on Ravelry as J Strack. Ravelry, I have a Ravelry group, uh, which is Mama Just Knits podcast, and also have a Facebook group um, called Mama Just Knits, or you can email me at Mama Just Knits at gmail dot com. All right, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into things since it's late. Um, finished objects. I have finished a beautiful cabled hat. And it is a wine color. And the pattern is uh, Jason's Cashmere by Melissa... Thompson and I made it in nitpicks uh, Brava worsted in the wine colorway and I still haven't sewn in my ends <laughs> um, mostly because I planned on putting a pom-pom on it um, I just haven't gotten around to doing that because I finished this um, late last night right before I went to bed so I have that finished, and I have been sewing like crazy this week. So I have this cute little project bag. I don't think I've shown this. I think I just finished this this weekend. Um, I know the inside is the same as another bag that I did. Um, the inside is the cute a little diamond print and the handle is the little diamond print got up oh, loose need to trim that so that's one and then I have this one sorry I had these kind of curled up in my bag because I took them to my knitting group yesterday to show the little and then the inside is a hot pink with the little polka dots. I didn't put a handle on this one, but this is super cute. Little Christmas, little Christmas kitties. And then the inside of this one is... <laughs> the only thing I don't like about this one is if you look really close... You can see the string of light. Yeah, see? I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. That little, the pattern that's on the inside, even though I lined it. Um, so I was kind of disappointed with that, but still cute. Still will use it. And then my last one. Beauty and the Beast. Look at Stepmom. And there's Belle and the Beast. And the inside of this bag is a bright yellow, just like the, the handle, which I made super long. I'm not real thrilled with that. But it's cute. I really like it. Pretty good size. It's bigger than all the other bags that I've made, except for that really huge um, Grinch bag that I made. Still haven't used that. I'm not sure what I'll put in it, but... I'll find a use for it. Okay, and then I have 
a half-finished object, or as we in the knitting world call it, a hoe. My son's Christmas sock. I literally just finished this sock right before I podcast. I wanted to have it done in time for the podcast. I just had to sew up the toe. Um, us going out to dinner kind of threw me off. Um, so I finished it up and decided I wanted to show you guys tonight. Isn't that so cute? Um, the red is Nitpick Stroll and the Hollyberry. And the green is Nitpick's Felici in the Highland colorway, which I can't remember if that was a color last year or the year before, maybe. Um, and I think that may have been gifted to me. I'm not really sure. But I noticed on this... There was a mic there was a error in the I guess the dyeing pattern the dyeing because this little stripe here is actually this color and it's just super weird. Like it got messed up and then there was like a knot halfway through it, so I had to cut it and re redo it and so this sock I had lots of ends on the inside that I had to, to weave in, but, because it was really weird, it, like, I think it's, like, right back, like, right here is where it had the knot, and I had to cut it and weave it in, but he tried it on, and he loves it, um, can't wait for me to finish the other one so that he can wear them, and so... Speaking of his other sock, we'll move along to Works in Progress, which I have in my cute little Christmas bag that I made, and I seriously just cast it on. I haven't knit any of it. I've just got it cast on. So I will probably start that a little bit later tonight or maybe in the morning. That's another one that I've been just sort of working on in the mornings. Um, and that sock pattern is just one that I've uh, got from somebody who um, worked at a yarn shop that no longer exists. And it's not on Rivalry or anywhere on the internet that I know of. It's just a plain vanilla sock. And I just kind of switched up a little bit and added the um, cuff, heel, and toe. And then... Another work in progress is a dishcloth, which I am almost finished with. I'm on a roll with these dishcloths. So I'm trying to get a bunch made up. Oh, and this dishcloth pattern is the um, grandma's favorite. And it might be the second one. I'm not really sure. I need to look on my um, computer. And that's by J.P. Allen. And let's see. Some of these I'm sure you guys are probably tired of seeing. I'm tired of working on them. But the next one is my husband's Christmas sock. The second one. I am almost done. I have 10 more rows. Maybe not even 10. Let's see. Oh, I lied. I have, I have 15 more rows of the cuff to do, or the leg. I haven't got to work on these very much. Um, I just kind of do a row here and a row there, and um, that is in the uh, online, oops, sorry, online super sock in the colorway 1922? Yep, 1922. Maybe. Maybe I'll get some time to work on that. But I'm trying to make it a goal to finish up at least one of these next two things I'm going to show you. Because honestly, I, I, love, I love the patterns. I'm just tired of working on them. I want to get to other stuff, other Christmas gifts that I'm trying to work on and get done. And I just really, I'm tired of working on them. And one of them is the Kalina. Uh-oh. Sorry, my needles are 
crazy. The Kalina, <clears throat> sorry guys, the Kalina scarf, which has grown a pretty good bit. So this was my progress keeper the last time I podcast, so a week ago, and I've gotten that much done. And I have that much left of my first ball of yarn. And the yarn that I'm doing this in, um, I wanted something that, that the person who this is going to be gifted to can just throw in the wash machine and, you know, dryer and be fine. So I am doing it in the um, Karen Simply Soft. And I'm not sure what colorway because... I lost the ball band. So that is going. And then I have my Cape Elizabeth by Alicia Plummer. Oh, sorry. The Kalina is by Jen Emerson and is on Rivalry. I'm not sure if it's anywhere else. Sorry. And the Cape Elizabeth is actually in a book. And it is on Rivalry. Um, I purchased the book because I got to looking at the patterns. And oh my gosh, I just fell in love with almost everything in that book. Of course, you know I love Alicia Plummer. So, so here is where I was. My little bunny was where I was last week when I podcast. Guys, I'm almost done. Almost done. Um... I need to measure it again. I mean, that lace. Oh, so gorgeous. Um, but I'm just tired of working on it. I want to, I have other projects I really want to work on. And I just feel like those two that are being gifted are, are, um, eating up all my time. Um, even though I am managing to get, some work done on, you know, socks and other things like that. Um, I just really want to work on, like, my students' hats that I plan on making and my kids' Christmas socks because I've only gotten one and a half out of six pairs, seven pairs that I need to make because I'm planning on making my daughter's boyfriend a pair. So breathe. I just feel like I'm running out of time. All right. So that is all of my works in progress. I don't think this podcast is going to be super duper long, but I don't have a lot to show you guys. And I think it's just because we had the holiday and, you know, cooking and shopping and babysitting and all that stuff kind of caught all of my knitting time. Um, so future cast-ons. I want to, of course, I will probably this week will go ahead and cast on another child's Christmas socks. That way I can have my son's other sock going and another child's socks going. Dishcloths. I am on a huge dishcloth kick. And... Some of my girl, two of my girls have told me that they want to make some of their teachers or friends or friends' families um, some dishcloths. So I thought, you know what, that sounds like a pretty good idea. And I mean, we can always use washcloths and dishcloths. So, you know, so that's going to be on my future cast on. And I have also signed up for some other cowls or knit alongs um that they're doing like a I think it's called an indie gift along and so a bunch of patterns were on sale by some of my favorite designers and I went through like all of the designers that had stuff for sale and wrote down like what I already own pattern wise and that I would be interested in gifting to other people. So I have like this page long list of um, things that I could cast on. Um, I haven't gone as far as to write down like who I 
would make them for her and that kind of stuff. But I do have another gift on my needles that I haven't gotten to work on in like two or three weeks. And that's my um, second covered shawl by Alicia Plummer. And speaking of that, so when I made the first covered shawl, the wine colored one that I showed, um, I think I may have shown it ever since I started podcasting. So it's in the first couple of podcasts and I can't remember which one it was that I had it completely done. But that shawl, the covered shawl, I was knitting with a knit along. And the knit along was on Facebook and I found out about the knit along on Instagram actually. And it was through the Modern Knitters. And so I signed up for it because I thought the shawl was beautiful and I wanted to make one. Then whenever I started making it, I kind of went kind of crazy and I have enough yarn and have like four other ones lined up. I have one on the needles and three more colors waiting to be cast on. Anyway, so the knit along prizes were um, a coffee maker of some sort, which I love coffee, but I also have a regular coffee maker and a Keurig, and then I actually have a replacement Keurig, um, Keurig that they sent me um, years ago, still in the box, in my garage, so that if the Keurig breaks or continues to act up, it wasn't wanting to, to like do a whole pot of coffee. Um, it wasn't wanting to read my K cups. So I got frustrated and I contacted them and they sent me a new one and, um, we moved and a friend gifted us a a, just a regular kind of a really nice coffee maker, but that ended up breaking. Uh, we go through coffee makers quite quickly. Um, me and my husband both drink coffee and some of my kids drink coffee. Well, almost all of them. They all love it. Um, but anyway, moving along. So in this knit along, I finished the, the shawl, posted pictures of the shawl, and I found out last week that I won. So the prizes you could pick from were the coffee maker or a set of Chalgu interchangeable needles. I picked the needles. And guys, gorgeous. Um, I had just talked to a friend about these needles. Um, she was interested in getting a set for her birthday, I believe, or maybe Christmas. I can't remember. And we were looking at these, um, and a friend in, knit in the knitting group that I go to on Mondays has a set of these. These are the Chalgu Twist Red Lace Interchangeables. I got these Friday, so the day after Thanksgiving, and I was blown away, you guys. Um, so Sarah Lanes, I hope I'm saying your last, your last name right, um, was the host of it. And, um, Alicia was also the, the designer or designing, I don't know if you call it like designing host or, but she was the designer. She's the one who designed the covered cow. So with this needle set came these little stitch markers needle gauge and I think these are to put the cords on and take them off I noticed this looks like a little blocking pen <laughs> but I, it I have other interchangeable sets and it has a little key like that to twist the cords on and off um, but this is my first chalgu um, set and I really wanted some for Christmas or my birthday, but um, hadn't ordered them. And just, I was just blown away, you guys. Here, it came with cords. It's got one, two, three, four. 
I think, eight different cords. Yeah. I think. And then it came with, this is what, this is the part that blew me away. Because my other interchangeable sets, I think they start at like a five or a six, and they only go up to, I think, a nine. And this set goes from a two all the way to a 15. I mean, that's a 15. Two, tiny. I was just blown away. I mean, this is a super nice set. And I think that these are like some little extra pockets that you can put like multiples if, of that size in, I guess. Or maybe, to, oh, losing needles, needle tips. Or maybe you can put um, your cords in there. I'm not really sure, but super nice case, super nice set. The blown away. Thank you so much again, Sarah. I just, I was in shock that I won this and just amazed at how nice of a set it was. Blown away. Still blown away. Then, as if that didn't blow my mind enough, I'm going to show you in just a second. Um, a package I got in the mail. But first I'm going to show you. I was naughty. And I went to Michael's. And they had yarn buy one get one 50% off. And since my girls decided that they want to knit some washcloths for friends. I decided to get washcloth yarn. And I decided that each washcloth should come in a set of two. So I have this set of browns, and it's got like a reddish brown in it. And I got this set to make some Christmassy dishcloths and more Christmassy dishcloths. My girls have already looked through this and they're already oohing and on on which ones they like. And then the last one. My 15 year old, she's been knitting like crazy the last couple of days. She's trying to make friends Christmas gifts and stuff. That's the last set. I think those will go together nicely. This one's got the brown and the pink and a little bit of cream which I know this is white but this is kind of a it's got this color creamy those two match so so that's what I bought this weekend after saying I wasn't going to buy any more yarn but I figure my girls I mean how many teenagers do you know that make people gifts um, with a craft that they know how to do. I don't know very many other than my two that are doing it. Oh, actually, my another daughter, she made um, she made her best friend one of those no-tie blankets. Super cute. Um, I would show it, but I think she's already wrapped it. <laughs> she's ahead of the game. Alright. So, now... It's time for my, um, this blew my mind. Um, so I had been doing some Instagram grant your yarn wishes. And my wishes, I had, I think I got to post twice. And one of them was like a box of goodies. And so I got a box in the mail that had all kinds of snacks in it and guys my kids were in heaven the those snacks no longer exist kids ate them all and then i got a package which i showed last podcast i do believe and then i got a picture of a label and i could see that this box was weighed i think it said five pounds 
And I was like, wow, what in the world could be in that box? Got the box. And I'm just going to quickly go through what all was in this box. Because I was blown away. First, I'm just going to hold it up in front of the camera. Yeah. Nitpicks. Fleshy. Guys, I love this yarn. This is one of my favorite go-to yarns for my kids' socks. And I have a couple pairs of socks made out of this. It is super soft. You can throw it in the wash machine. You can throw it in the dryer. And it, it just holds up. So, two of these make a pair of socks. So, if you want to get me a gift... Fleechy. Any color. They have all kinds of new colors out. Um, this one is the punky color. Reminds me of Punky Brewster. I don't know if that's what they intended it to, to be, but I love it. And then this. Got two skeins of this, and it's the Muse finger, Fingering Weight, and it's called Untamed. Oh, and before I forget, one of my girls, she was in the living room when I opened the, the box, and she really loved this yarn, and she got to messing around with it, and she, she, um, unskeined it, and so she ended up winding it for me, and this one is called, it's Stroll Fingering, and it's called Frog Prints Hand Painted. She wants a pair of socks out of that. I'll have to make her a pair since she wound it up. And then... Guys, these are new. Like, brand new. Aren't they gorgeous? Super soft. They're the Stroll... This is Teal Tweed Tonal. It says it's from the Special Reserve. I love it. Absolutely love it. Cannot wait. I had been eyeing this too. And this color is Petal Tweed Tonal. I'm going to show you guys, um, when it, once I start them, of course, um, some really pretty blue socks that has the tweed in it that I love. Look at this. I had never seen this. So I can do two at a time socks. They're already um, wound out for two of a time. Two at a time is called Stroll Granite Duos. And it has two cakes, which are these. They're 50 gram cakes. So it totals 158 yards. And it's called Summer Camp. I love it. I've only done two at a time once, but I will do it again. I just haven't had time. I think it takes me longer to do two at a time than just regular, like, do a sock, complete it, and then start the second one. I don't know. Guys, I love this. Look at all those gorgeous colors. And this one is called Impulse. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know what I'm going to make with that. I don't know if it's going to be socks or if it's going to be something else. It's so pretty. I love this too. Look at this. Little, the speckles of orange. I love the blue. Blue speckle. This one is called Knit Picks. Uh, just says Stroll Fingering. But that... We'll make some super fun socks. Right? And then I have a couple of little single skeins in here. Which I can easily put in my blanket. Or I can make these, you know, heels and toes. And this one's called Strawberry. This one's got some glitter in it. And it's called Scarlet. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Excuse me. And then this is um, 
Stroll Tweed in the Forest Heather, which I think is where I was getting that Forest Heather in the, when the, I was talking about the Christmas socks before. And then this one is Bamboo Heather, which is a really pretty color. I think that with some gray would make some nice socks. And then I got this bag, and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, six big skeined up sock sets, and then some like pieces that I can put in my blanket of other various yarns. And then it's got a skein of um, Felici Goth Kitty, which I have some of this, so I can actually make more than one pair of socks because I could make my youngest daughter a pair of socks out of one skein of that. But can you believe that? I mean, I was blown away. Like, there are tons of nice people in the world, but... I'm sorry, I just have to say it. Knitters, crafters, they are the greatest. I, unbelievable. I'm unbelievable and or un, I'm in shock and blown away by how kind they are. Um, just blown away. I mean, I had another knitter in my Monday group that... Um, brought me a bag of items that she had knitted that she didn't have anybody to give them to, but she knew that I worked in schools and she gave them to me to see, you know, if, if I knew anybody that could use them. And I think I've pretty much found a home for the three items that she gave me, which one was a pair of mittens. One was a really super soft scarf and one was a baby hat or a hat, um, I think it would fit a baby. I'm going to actually take it into one of the teachers who had a baby and see if it'll fit her little girl. Just blown away. I mean, she could have donated, donated that anywhere. Um, I mean, I'm glad that I have the chance to give it to some kids that really, you know, could need it. Um, and just somebody who I think would enjoy it and I know would use it. Anyway, I'm just blown away, and that's really all that I have to show you, so thank you guys so much for checking out my podcast. Um, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, um, check out one of my groups, join one of my groups and chat with us. Um, both groups are really small, we are not very chatty at all, um, I've decided that once I get a hundred subscribers that I am going to do my first giveaway. So, you know, tell your friends. And like I said, once we reach a hundred, I will do a giveaway, um, and give away some goodies. And, um, that's about it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Um, I'm going to try to have some new stuff to show you guys. Hopefully some finished objects. Some big finished objects. Um, on my next podcast. But have a great week. And just keep on knitting or crafting or whatever you do. Bye guys.